Hello guys, this is Sobriel from Alcar and today we're gonna make a comparison between the three different versions of PlayStation 4. With the standard PS4, PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro all being up for grabs at a relatively affordable price, it's easy to get confused as to which system to get. So we're gonna try and help you make up your mind as we guide you through all the differences between the three consoles. Sony is well known for its methods of releasing a slim version of the PlayStation sometime after its initial release. These slimmer versions usually offer only a physical difference rather than a functionality one and such is the case with their latest generation as well. The substantial difference in feature and performance comes with the PlayStation 4 Pro, but you will truly experience this difference only if you own a 4K TV, ideally one with HDR. So let's get technical a bit and talk about what each console hides under its hood. Arguably the biggest difference between the three consoles is in the graphics processor unit or GPU. Both the standard PS4 and PS4 Slim have the same GPU but the Pro outclasses both with its more than two times more powerful graphics processor. In other words, all PS4 games which have been experiencing some issues with maintaining a stable FPS should not have any problems when played on the PS4 Pro. Another upside of the stronger GPU of the Pro is 4K resolution together with HDR support. When it comes to the CPU power, there is no difference between the standard and slim version of the PS4. However, the Pro comes with an upgraded processor which has seen a 30% boost in clock speed going from 1.6 to 2.1 GHz. Apart from having a better CPU, an additional gigabyte of RAM memory is another reason why the Pro runs faster. This extra gigabyte is meant for non-gaming apps like Netflix, meaning they won't take up space that games can use and you can also switch between applications much faster. The difference in the console size is not vast, but it can still be an important factor for people who like to style their devices with decals and stuff like that. Of course, as its very name suggests, the PS4 Slim is the smallest of the bunch. It's also worth mentioning that the PS4 Slim does not have an optical out port, which may or may not be an issue, it all depends on what kind of equipment you want to hook to your PS4. Another difference between the three is power consumption. The original PlayStation 4 can draw up to 250 watts during its heaviest gameplay sessions, whereas the PS4 Slim draws around 30% less power, but the overall power consumption is really nothing you should be concerned about, because in today's age 250 watts is almost negligible, so the slightly higher power consumption of the Pro is nothing to fret about. PSVR is of course supported on all three consoles, but the Pro offers a much better experience thanks to its increased power. So if you're really into VR gaming and a PlayStation 4 is what you have in mind, then the PS4 Pro should be a no-brainer. Of course, superior performance comes with a superior price, and so the Pro costs almost £100 more than both the standard and PS4 Slim, both of which go for £260. So let's break it all down real quick. If you're looking for sales or bundles, then the standard PlayStation 4 would be your best bet, especially if you don't care about 4K and the size of your gaming device does not play an important role, then save some cash and get yourself a standard PS4. However, if size does play a role to you and you're looking to save up as much as you can on that monthly electricity bill, then go for the PS4 Slim. But if you own a fancy 4K HDR TV and you want a console capable of taking full advantage of that beast, then look no further, opt for the Pro. So those will be the differences between the three editions of Sony's flagship console. Let us know which console did you guys get or will get sometime in the future. And if you own a PS4 Pro, tell us whether you're satisfied with its performance. We always love to hear from you and please make sure to visit alcar.com for all the latest gaming news. Thank you very much for watching and this is Subreal and see you very soon.